Imagine to the ECOWAS situation. Hmm. First off, let me say, sir, ECOWAS cannot do anything. Oh, so they can't do anything. Um, Omama, um, Niger warning, sir, they should reinstate the president. And our mama ultimatum say if they don't do anything within that time, you no, know, they would invade um, Niger. Captain Nipa Obasa ultimatums are warning no cry Tinubu. First off, he has been major ECOWAS chairman. Captain, this individual has his case, his election in court. Say so they are contesting or challenging his legitimacy as president. I don't know on what basis are ECOWAS acting as a fan say. Onobe yet chairman of ECOWAS. When the man's election as president is even challenged, is being challenged in court currently. Until on what basis did ECOWAS decide say you be fatinu boy you know chairman of the ECOWAS? I'm, I'm not surprised. Now can't find But no, I'm not surprised. The only akwakura was but in some Kenya no. The only akwakura or woman no. And can why be on our No, but I don't. I don't blame him. Okay, I said 2016, 2017, when we got our, our president. His Excellency Narado, he was made the chairman of the ECOWAS. But there was no track record to show, sir, you can deliver on that. But I believe, Captain, or I'm tempted to believe, sir, it is just to give the person certain legitimacy. And see, as the person's legitimacy as president is being challenged in court, so you find now you're man, you're, you're the chairman of the ECOWAS, no? it gives him some kind of credibility. That's what is being done. But Tinubu has not demonstrated in any way, shape, or form, sir, he's capable of managing the high office of chairman of the ECOWAS. And Oko Dan Chen. The person giving ultimatum to Niger, say, if they don't reinstate the, out, the ouster president to Ombre Vedi, um, Niger, no. His own country, 36 states within Nigeria, 30 of the 36 states in Nigeria are under the influence of Boko Haram. He has not been able to deal with Boko Haram. But my ultimatum, say, if Niger does not reinstate the uh, ouster president, he's going to lead a delegation or a, a, a military force to invade Niger to do what? Why doesn't he lead that military force to clear out Boko Haram from Nigeria? Because so-called Niger today, and you see the number of um, refugees in Niger, majority of them are from Nigeria, from the, the northern states in Nigeria. Because Boko Haram, people are displaced. It's most of the people who have run away from Nigeria, northern Nigeria, have found themselves in Niger as asylum seekers. And see, you're not dealing with your home, your internal security issues. I know they all say, oh, who yeah. 30 out of the 36 states in Nigeria are under the attack or under the influence of Boko Haram. And see, if there's anything ECOWAS is meaning to do which will benefit them, is to first of all address the um, terrorist situation in Nigeria, in the 30 states in Nigeria, send those military um, forces you have to clear out Boko Haram from Nigeria before you can even consider going into Niger.